Hey everyone and welcome to Windsor Live. My name is Brielle and I'm a stylist here at Windsor and today we are so excited to show you our favorite homecoming styles with a lot of them styled by my guest host Pia Shaw at Pia Shaw underscore on Instagram. Hi everyone. Thank you guys so much for having me back. I'm so excited for another live. We are so happy you're here. We had so much fun last time. <laughs> we did. We had an amazing time and I'm especially excited for today because we are covering all things homecoming mm -hmm. and yeah. Brielle knows this but I actually never got to go to a homecoming dance because my school didn't have them so I'm just really excited to relive this part of my childhood yes. or like live it out I exactly. guess. Exactly <laughs> your dream homecoming looks here today so let's get yes. into it let's talk about what you're wearing right now. Okay so I went with something a little bit more conservative but still sexy mm -hmm. so this dress is obviously a very nice length modest length but then it's completely mesh which I think so that's where like the sexy comes in. Yes. You can feel super confident. This is perfect. I don't know if you guys can see the power mesh. It's really elegant. Yeah, I love that power power mesh. So yeah, it's not that. <laughs> if you want to show up close, it's got that contrast bodice and the contrast piping, which is so so pretty on this. And then it's also got the built-in contrast bottom. Yes. And the mesh is sheer. So if you guys can't see, you'll see if you can click on our length. But if you turn around. This has a, a bottom built inside, so kind of like a little booty short area type yes, of thing going a on. For lack yes. of better words. <laughs> so even though it has that sheer mesh, you still have that coverage. And I mean, this is such a pretty dress, not only for homecoming, but no. maybe club night, birth night, birth birthday night, birthday night, birthday night, <laughs> birth night, birth night <laughs> dinner, yes. like. Whatever you want, really. Yes. This is a great dress. Yes. And now, how would you style it? Would you do a, a jacket over it, or how would you do it on homecoming night? So, today? specifically for homecoming, because the dress doesn't really have too much happening, mm -hmm. I want all the glitz and the glamour that I could get in my accessories. Yeah. So, for example, my earrings, if you guys can see, are these long, really pretty rhinestone earrings. And then I have some fun shoes on. Yes. That also have like the glitter on them. Yes. Um, and then I would pair it with like, you know, one of the amazing accessories that we have here. We've got a lot coming yes. up next. Yeah, all you need for this dress is some rhinestone action. The dress in itself is a total moment. It's really elevated yeah. and I love that it's a modern take on just a classic style. Yeah. It's a modern yeah. take and a little bit of a twist on a little black dress. Yes. Yeah. So you guys, if you love this dress, make sure you click the link above and you'll be able to snag this dress. I'm just so obsessed with this dress. This is a really unexpected dress and I have to say I've been eyeing it on our site and I was like oh my gosh do I get this dress? Do I get this dress? And I was excited when you were going to wear it because now I'm like this dress looks so good on. Yeah. It really really does. So and it's my super favorite. comfortable. It's super super important. comfortable so you guys need to know that. Um, and we've got a commenter Michelle. Hi Michelle what's going on girl? Uh, school dress codes are tight. Yeah, so what, what would you have to say about school dress codes, about everything that we're showing today? I know that some are a little bodycon, some are a little bit sexier, some are a little bit more conservative. Yeah, so I think we did a good job of, you know, picking something for everyone. Um, with this dress, I know it's definitely, it would definitely be like dress code um, length. Yes. But I'm not necessarily sure how the mesh would be. So just make sure to be aware of what your school um, standards are. I guess. Exactly. And maybe if you're tuning in and you're in college, this might be a dress that's a little bit more appropriate for college age. But don't worry if you're tuning in your high school, high school homecoming, we've got a lot of dress options for you. So just really quickly show those rhinestone fringe earrings one last time with your dress up close. They're so, so pretty. Yes. I love those. How does it, how do they like feel like? I feel like oh, they're, they're super light. Super, really? Yeah, they're super light. They're super comfortable. You just oh. look so regal with them on. I love that. And then talk about your shoes really quickly. I know that you mentioned it a second ago, but tell me, how do they feel? Are they comfy? Yeah, these are super, super comfy. Um, I picked something that wasn't too high, so I feel like these are anywhere between like, I think they're, you think they're like three inches? Probably like three inches. Okay, yeah. so they're like three inches. They're super comfortable, and I just like that they add a nice pop of like sparkle to the outfit. Definitely, and I always say this, but one thing I love about our shoes here at Windsor is that they're always really comfortable. They're very on trend, Yes. but they're comfortable. And a lot of times, sometimes when there's trendy uh, shoes, they're not always super comfortable, but here at Windsor, they definitely are. They're <laughs> such a moment. They're so, so pretty. And I mean, they're one of my favorites, definitely. <laughs> this is this them. whole outfit, I 
want, and I was saying that it's going to be my next date night outfit, for sure. Hey, William, you're back, my friend William. <laughs> that was me on IG, love that dress. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, you guys let us know what you guys are into, what you're feeling for homecoming, what your go-to style is, and ask Pia anything. She is truly the style guru, and this is her take <laughs> on homecoming. I want to hear more about your dress, because this is amazing. I have been waiting to talk about this. <laughs> I've had it on for a couple hours now, and I'm just so obsessed with it. This is the Renata Formal Heatstone Illusion Mini Dress, and we were talking about it earlier. Windsor does heat stones so good. I'm walking around feeling like a human disco ball right now. I was walking around the office before our show and everyone was stopping me and saying, oh my gosh, this dress is so sparkly. It's yeah. so, so good. Really perfect for like the holidays and everything like that. So let me show you guys up close before we get into, it comes in two other colors. We've, we've got burgundy, black, and ivory. If you want to just yes. hold these two and you can show them in a second, Absolutely. but I will show you guys these beautiful heat stones. Look at that shine. This dress has got that mini length silhouette. It's also got a very similar boning mesh situation as Kia's dress does too. So we're definitely on the same vibe when we're choosing our dresses here because we didn't plan it. It just kind of still has that same little area over here super sexy and flirty it's also got the mock neck here so here's that full look bodycon feel good it. fits like a glove yes. also comes in black and ivory just as sparkly pia if you were to wear one of these dresses either the burgundy black or the ivory which one is more you I actually love the one you're wearing. Really? And I'm like a neutral queen, so <laughs> I just, I love this color. I feel like the heat stones really just like pop. Um, I, I mean, they obviously look amazing in the white and black too, but this is just incredible. I think so too. And you were just saying before, this perfect dress for upcoming holiday events. Yeah, we picked a lot of dresses that are super transitional for you guys. So it's not a one and done situation. If you end up wearing this to homecoming, you can rewear it and restyle it. Um, for other events. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, this is definitely one of my favorites. And also a thing about this, one thing that we try to show you guys on Winter Lives up close and personal looks on everything. When I saw this on the site, I actually thought the heat stones were silver. They're actually like iridescent in person. So let me just show you up close here. And they're a little bit different on the black and white or the ivory. So these ones are definitely true silver. This is a true black and then this is iridescent. So super pretty. Now, the shoes I'm wearing, the Trendy Babe Lucite Block Heels, you and I were bonding last yes. show about our love for Lucite Block Heels, that clear trend. What did you love most about a clear heel? I said this last time, too, in our last live, if you guys tuned in, I love the way a clear heel just elongates you. Yes. Especially because you and I aren't on the taller side of the spectrum. Definitely not. I could use all the help that I can get as far as trying to look longer and leaner and, you know, just taller. Definitely. Um, so this really, I love what it does. Thank you. And I think we're also on the same vibe here, too. We've got the open square toe situation yes. going yes. on. We love an open square toe vibe. This also has got the clear strap over the toe. I always say this about our clear heels the pvc strap is very flexible it's mm -hmm. really comfortable so this isn't a shoe that's going to feel constricted or make your toe feel uncomfortable this is a great dancing shoe as well similar to pia's shoe yeah. it's not a super high heel so great for dancing mm -hmm. walking around and i think we've got some commenters jaleesa what's up girl what's going on she likes both of our dresses i love that i know me too and gabby says burgundy is always her thing yes Primary colors are like very in. I feel like the dark reds is a very in color for the season. It so really is. And it's always flattering on everyone, I really think. This is such a beautiful color. So yeah. I love both of our dresses. I don't know if I can pick which one I like best. But let us know in the comments which dress you would wear to homecoming. Definitely. But not before we show you the rest of them, because yes. we have a lot to show so you. So let's let's go ahead. We've got another pick of Pia's coming up. Yes. So when we went on live on Instagram for like the few minutes that we did, we got a lot of you asking for white dresses. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the white ones that I picked. Um, going along with the corset style, this is actually a strapless dress. Um, I know it's just that might be deceiving because it's hung right now, but it is a strapless corset dress. You want to show them all And yes, you just grab it this way. Yeah. Got those hanger straps there. And I love a corset top. I just feel like it's 
it just makes me feel so snatched when I'm wearing a corset because it, it really looks does. good in the bust area and then snatches your waist. And I love the ruching. So here's a white option. And then if you guys do have a dress code that is strict on length, this is a very modest length, I think. I think so too. And we were talking about ruching before as well. Definitely gives you that hourglass figure, yeah. which we definitely love. And this comes yeah. in a couple different colors, mm -hmm. royal and black. So if you were into Pia's dress that she's wearing right now, maybe you were like, oh, it's a little bit too showy for me, totally fine. This is another really pretty option. And I think this is so you. I really think this speaks to oh, yeah. your own this style. Is very, very <laughs> unique. Like I would wear this basically on any day. So I love this. And you can accessorize it in so many different ways. Like I said earlier, we have so many amazing accessories yes. behind you. And there's so many ways to transition this outfit. This is actually one of if you want to show this up close, one of our most popular bags on our site. Again, if you love this bag, just hit the link above in our post. But that looks really good with this dress. What inspired you to pair that with this dress? Just adds a little sparkle, adds something fun. And, yeah. And this is definitely a statement piece. Yes, for yeah. sure. So the dress might not be a statement dress, but the accessories can be. Definitely. And now let's just show them really quick the shoe that you also paired this with. Tell yes. me about the gold and white situation that you wanted to do with this. Well, outfit. I love gold because I feel like it really helps accentuate any tan that you have. Mm -hmm. So any summer tan that you had, you know, you can show it off with the gold. I feel like it just helps everything pop. And then, I don't know, I just like white and gold together. I feel like those two colors work Super really well together. Cute. It's got an iridescent hue too, if you wanted to show them yeah. really quickly. Let us know what you think, you guys. It think has like, it looks gold from far away, and then it has like this holographic. So you guys cute. can see that. Let us know in the comments if you guys are liking this shoe. And say hi to Pia. Again, Pia, let us know, let everyone know what your Instagram is again. It's at Piasha underscore. Right. Yes, you guys are to keep commenting, keep the comments coming. Let us know what you guys are into. All right, so let's head into your, to your next pick here. Okay, so my next pick is something, I wanted to pick at least like one gown. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, this to me just like, this is what I would have loved to wear to homecoming. Mm -hmm. um, just feel like a princess in it and I just, I love this um, because I feel like you can wear it for different occasions too. You definitely can. You know, and I started out, so this is a funny story, a little bit of a side story. So I actually started out as an accountant right out of college. So I so never different. thought that I would be able to like wear all of these amazing dresses. And now I've been doing content creation for the past three years. And now I get to wear all of these amazing dresses and kind of live out a part of my youth that I wish I had. Yes. So when I saw this dress, I just felt like it was a perfect homecoming dress. Just like super, um, what's the it's word? really it's glam like, it's very glamorous. Regal, it's yeah. very regal. And another thing about homecoming, especially with this dress, is you don't have to wait until prom to no, wear no. a long dress. Yeah. And I mean, it just depends again on your dress code. If you are a little bit more casual, your homecoming, or if it's more formal, this is a perfect dress for you. So why don't you just show them up close, that beautiful sheen. It's also got that ruche detailing again. It's got the towel neckline and the mermaid silhouette. And like the other dresses, this isn't just a one and done. This is something that you could wear to a wedding. This is something you could yes. wear over the holidays. Like there's so many different occasions to wear it. Um, and then how would you style shoes? The like, shoes. Are there, like, shoes that you were thinking? Well, you know what? It depends. With this dress, because you've got the length, you really can do whatever shoe you mm -hmm. want. So you don't necessarily have to go super, super high and have a six inch stiletto. If you want to do a block heel, if you want to do a low heel, depending on your height, you can do that. So if you wanted to do, let's say, a gold heel, you could yes. definitely do that. We're going to show this in a minute. Super cute. And then tell us how you paired the long fringe earrings with this. Why did you choose a fringe earring? Instead of like a hoop I just felt like because of the neckline, it dips a little bit lower. So yeah. I kind of wanted to keep like the neck a little bit more simple mm -hmm. and then have something just like on the ears. Like I love just like a little pop. Definitely. And that's the beauty of a cowl neck too. Yeah. You can play around with it. And I always say this about a cowl neck. You could do a long earring like that. Or if you wanted to go kind of like late 90s, early 2000s, you could do a rhinestone show. Girl. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, I love <laughs> that. Right? I never would have thought of that. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yes. All right, we've got some commenters. Ashley, what's going on, girl? Welcome back. Okay, and my co-host, Gabby. 
has a question for you. All right, so Ooh, we're gonna okay. we're gonna trickle that in in a second. I'm okay. ready. One of my favorites, and I think that this color too is very true to your own style. Okay, so Gabby asked, would you add a pop of color to neutral dress or keep it monochrome? Um, I think it depends on the occasion, but right now I'm really loving a pop of color, whether it's in the shoe, whether it's in your bag. So I would say, yeah, add a pop of color, have fun with it, do whatever speaks to you and your style. I feel like that's what makes an outfit special. So definitely, and I think that with your dress especially, you could definitely do a pop of color. Oh yeah, of course. And I think that would just be so much more fun. <laughs> We've got a lot on our site to choose from, and also depending on the occasion, I know that for our last show we did together, we do have like a little croc mini bag on our site and it comes yes. in hot pink. But if you were looking to do something a little bit more elevated for homecoming or a formal event, we do have other bags, like mm -hmm. rhinestone bags that would match and would be a pop of color with that too. All right, we've got some more commenters. Keep them coming. All right, Joshua says nice. Thank yes. you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Juliana, interested in shoes. Just bought a dress from you guys for a wedding next month. Okay. We definitely have got a lot of shoes. Let us know what color your dress is because we've got a lot here today that Pia picked, a couple of things that I picked as well. So who knows, it might be a really good pick for you guys. Also, let us know if your dress is short or long. I feel like that'll help us gauge what accessories you should go with. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's get into some more. Okay. So I picked this dress because I wanted a little bit more glitz and glamour, and I love yes. this color. So for all of you that said you love the maroon, this is like a very special dress because it is so sparkly. I want to show you guys up close because the photos just don't do it justice. It's so Look beautiful. Look at how amazing that glitter is. It's a different version of, of my dress. I've got the heat stone. That has got the true yes. glitter. And I feel like the neckline is so classy and elegant. Yes. Like it's just like a nice draped off the shoulder look. Um, I love the length of it. Really it's love the mini dress. Inspired, yes. Absolutely. And like I said with some of the other pieces, this is super transitional. This would be a perfect holiday dress. Definitely so would. I love this. Um, and tell them about how stretchy it is. Because I know like oh, some yeah. dresses you might not be able to see online how stretchy something is. So yeah, yes, this is feel. just like a very, it's very forgiving and it's super comfortable. Um, it's a sophisticated dress, but it's not too mature for high school. So if you're in high school, I feel like this would be very appropriate as well for your homecoming. Definitely. And I think that with that ruching, it makes it more appropriate because it does give you that little snatched waist yes. situation and it makes it a little bit shorter. So fun, but elegant and sophisticated. Yeah. And this is another dress where you're going to wear it for homecoming, but you can rewear it over the years. Exactly. And then I love the length of this dress because you could really play with the shoes. Yes. Um, that's something that some of the long dresses can't really do, but I love that you can pick whatever kind of shoe you want. If you want to go for a more simple, classy look, um, well, even like your loose side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for thing. sure. Um, or if you really just wanted to kick it up a notch and throw on some amazing shoes. Well, yeah. we do have some of these we're, we're going to talk about. In just a second, we've got Juliana commenting. We've got the Sasha High Slit Dress in Hunter Green. Hunter Green. I was thinking black shoes with black wristlet or clutch. What do you think? Okay, what do you think about that? Doing a Hunter okay. Green dress with black accessories. I like it. I think it adds, uh, it, it's like a very fall vibe. Yes. You know, yep. so um, wristlet or clutch, I'd probably do the clutch if you're going to a wedding. I think so too. So I would do the black shoes, black clutch, and call it a day. Mm -hmm. And the worst case, if you can't think of something to match with it, always do a clear shoe. Yes. That's the go to. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think we both can agree on that. It's just a good shoe to fall back on, yeah. but hopefully that helps Juliana. Any other questions, let us know. We're here to help. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's talk about these heels really quick. So you paired this dress with these heels. If you wanted yes. to show them up close, how cute Well, we talked about are. this last time because I am a gold girl. We did the gold and silver yes. pole in our last live, and I just love gold. So this is this pair. It's got that beautiful rhinestone trim. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like the And it has the lace up vibe. Yes, lace up vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Modern day Cinderella type of vibe. Yes. With that clearness. Yes. Super cute. And now you would definitely do gold with this instead of silver, right? I mean, I honestly think this dress would work well with both. Like, so it's really just whatever you prefer. I think it would also look beautiful with silver. Because I'm seeing it with your silver 
Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Oh yes. And yeah. that would look amazing as well. I so know. I feel like this dress is also perfect because you can pick whatever kind of jewelry you want to wear with it. You can do either or. Yeah. All right. So now let's talk about this bag that you picked out with this. With this bag. How pretty How is, fun this? is this look? This whole look is really just like the one outfit that I was like, I want it to be all glitz, all glam. Yep. This is definitely that. It's giving me all of those vibes. Different, but I, different glitz in all different ways. We've got the rhinestone trim. We've got that. We've yes. Got the glitter. But I also love this bag because I feel like I could wear it with my outfit. Yes. If you guys can see. Show them up close too. Just look how it shines. Look at how pretty that is. What do you think, you guys? Are you into the rhinestone moments, the glitter moments? I mean, kind of for... For homecoming, you gotta go big or go home, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> I love this. You don't have to wait until prom to get all your sparkly, blinged out accessories. Yeah. Do it at homecoming. It's your debut into the new year. <laughs> so, especially for you, if you didn't get to go to a homecoming, why not? You should go all out. And that was another thing I did want to say, is if you have the opportunity to go to homecoming or prom or whatever it is, go. Because if I could go back in time and change my school's policies, I would have wanted to have like my own homecoming. I know, I know. Well, at least now you're reliving it. Yes. And the great thing about these dresses, like I said, is they are super versatile. So even though you could potentially wear your dress as a date night dress, you're channeling your inner homecoming 2021 yes. self right now. So Instagrammable too. I know. Yeah, it is very Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so now, officially, we are declaring today as the of homecoming. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, wow. It's the of homecoming today! <laughs> oh my gosh, so fun. Well, you guys, if you are just joining us, I'm going to let you know how to shop with us here today. So in addition to shopping with us here today on Facebook during the live, you can find our full collection online at Windsor Store. Dot com. All you have to do is just click on the link above in the post, but you can also visit any of our more than 250 stores throughout the U.S. Can you believe we have more than 250 That's stores? That's insane. And more to come. More to come. I know. And I mean, I always say this, but I love when everybody shops here on Wonder Live because we always give you guys the up close and personal look, how to shop smarter, how things feel, mm -hmm. how things look. Yes. So, and we get to actually talk to you. Exactly. So yeah. that makes it even more fun. And I do want to know, do you guys prefer long dresses or short dresses for homecoming? Let us know. I think I think we made our decision based yes. on the dresses <laughs> that we're wearing right now. But don't get me wrong, I love a long dress. Yeah. I feel really regal in it. So. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about this dress that is right fun. here. So this is a really cute homecoming dress. Obviously for other occasions, a birthday would be really fun, but for the girls who are watching right now who mm -hmm. are wondering about dress code and what you should wear, this might be your dress. And we were talking about it before. Why do you think that this would be a really appropriate dress for homecoming? Well, I just feel like it's super modest in the neckline. It has the sleeves. It has the length. And it's still super sparkly, and it'll stand out for sure. But there's nothing showing. There's yes. not too much going on in terms of, like, you showing too much skin, which I know is a concern for a lot of people if dress code is tighter. Definitely. And now I'm going to show these short puff sleeves up close. Yeah, but I love these. What do you think? Are you into a puff sleeve moment? I know it's definitely a statement. I think it depends on the occasion. So if you're feeling it for homecoming, why not? Just go, go all out. I think so, too. I think that you're definitely going to stand out if you're having the puff sleeve. Nobody else is going to have this style. You want to stand out when you are walking in, making your debut. Yeah. I mean, can you just picture yourself walking into the room? It's, it's your day. Yes. So, so you got to have to picture it. <laughs> no, and I love how form-fitting this is. You can just tell it accentuates your curves yes. really well. So even if you are fully covered, you can still look sexy. Definitely. And again, it's got that beautiful ruching. I know we've got a lot of ruching fans. It's very mm -hmm. forgiving. Gives you that snatched waist. And it's also got you know, all of those sequins. So we've got a lot of sparkly moments here today. We've got the sequins. We've got heat stone. We've got glitter. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> Don't answer that because we actually have a lot more for you. Yes, we do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so make sure you guys keep keep watching. We've got a lot more to cover. All right, so on to our gold moment. So I'm going to trade you yes, this 
for this bag. Take a look at this, you guys. If I can get it one handed. All right, there we go. Take a look at that. How pretty is that? I love this box clutch. I want to show you guys specifically the chain. It has this really cool gold chain on it. It's like a, it's like jewelry in itself, almost. It's almost yes. like a necklace. And it is removable if you guys do want to wear this just as a clutch. And then show as a crossbody too. Because I know a lot of girls like a crossbody bag, which is fun for especially homecoming. Cute. Yeah, at homecoming, I feel like if you're dancing, you don't want to carry a bag. Exactly. So this is perfect to just kind of sling over your shoulder. Totally. And if you wanted to make it a clutch, you could just tuck in that chain, which is really fun. Yes. I love this. Now, we also want to do, we want to, we want to do gold as much as possible <laughs> with this whole look. We're, we're going all gold. Check out these heels. Those are amazing. Let's trade. All right. This so is an incredible how outfit. beautiful are these? A so metallic cute. gold shoe, and then you have the rhinestones across the toe. Yes. And also across the ankle. Super cute. And they're, they're just very, like, chrome, which I like. Yes. We do chrome really well here at Windsor, too. So let's show that final look all together. Yes. Big, big yes for this look. I mean, can you just imagine walking in? The lights are on you. Probably the disco yes. ball is shining. And I love that the puff sleeves on this. I'm going to talk about the puff sleeves one last time. It's a little nod to another decade. Yeah. And I think that says a lot about your style. If you're in high school or college and you're taking the trend that was popular mm -hmm. a couple decades ago and incorporating it into your own. Yeah. No, I think that's amazing. And then another thing I love about a block heel situation is when you're dancing, a skinny heel is just not ideal. Oh, no. So you can actually stand on these all night long. You can dance. You can do whatever you need to do. And these are still going to be super comfortable for you. Definitely. I love, love, love these. And we got a commenter. Hey, Juliana, she's back. Oh, to be in high school again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. You know, we were actually talking about it before, about these dresses. Potentially, you could, if you are a little bit older, maybe you want to wear one of these dresses to your high school reunion. Yeah. So we're still in the high school vibe. My reunion got canceled because of COVID. So no. there's that. So I'm going to, so while you're living out your homecoming dreams, yes. I'm living out my high school <laughs> reunion dream, my 10 year wearing, wearing this dress. We've got a lot <laughs> to celebrate today. So let us know in the comments what you guys are loving, what you want to ask Pia, any styling tips. She can definitely help you out. She is the expert. She's the guru here, and she's going to be telling you how to elevate your homecoming style yes. for this homecoming. And make sure you guys tag your friends who have an event coming up. Absolutely. We have so many amazing dresses, and we couldn't even show you all of the amazing dresses that are online, so definitely check out the website It's as well. true. So all you have to do is just click the link above, and it's going to lead you to everything that we're talking about today, and of course everything else on our site. All right, so let's talk about this next dress. Do you want to hang on yes. to that? Super cute. I love this dress. This is for my ladies who want something a little bit more simple. Maybe you're not into all of the glitz and all the glamour and all the glitter, whatever it is. This is just a beautiful, like, satin mini dress. And I love the neckline and kind of the bustier yes. situation happening. Yep. I think it's super... I would. I feel like it would just be so form-fitting on. It just would. Super flattering. Yes, I love it. And our satin-like material here is just so soft. It's so yes. shiny. The sheen is really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And okay, Juliana, you're in college. This might be a good dress for you. This would be an amazing dress for sorority too. If you get invited, I hope you get invited. Yeah, I, I <laughs> hope so too. We have our fingers crossed. For yes, you. <laughs> yes. We're wishing you good luck on that. But this is a perfect dress if you've got some type of a college formal coming up, college mm -hmm. homecoming. And again, another dress that you could wear for date night or anything yeah. like that. And I know we were talking about it before we went live as well because we are obsessed with this dress. How would you style this in terms of like layering? So for layering, I would maybe do some type of like faux fur. I feel like that would be super glamorous, especially yes. for homecoming. Yeah. Normally on a normal basis, I'd say throw a blazer over that, like if you're going to dinner. But because it's homecoming and it's just a special occasion, do something more fun, throw on some faux fur. We definitely got some faux fur coming yes, up. Yes, we do. So, so we'll stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. 
But yeah, separately, I love the blazer look with that too. That's just yeah. such a good look. I, I would love this with a blazer or even just like a fall outfit in my mind is like boots. Like yes. Knee boots, knee yes. boots, boots yes. Yes. a blazer, yes. this dress. Yep. And then 100%. you're ready for dinner. We've got some really good boots on our site too. Oh, I haven't seen any yet. Yeah, you better click our link after we're <laughs> done. We're going shopping after this. Do we need to make that another live segment? Or? I don't I don't know, you guys. I think so. <laughs> so let us know if you want to see something like that. But but yeah, so girls night out dress would be perfect for yes. this too, right? And Juliana, we just want to let you know that by whatever is calling your name, whatever's speaking to you, we have a really, really great return policy. Mm -hmm. So if anything you don't like, you can always send back and you're good to go. And because everything is so is priced so well, you can get a lot of things, see what you like. And even down the line, if, if it doesn't work out for your next occasion next month, maybe in six months from now, you might want to be wearing that dress. Exactly. So. And there's nothing better than shopping from the comfort of your own home. Yes. So you could order all yes. this stuff online, then you get it shipped to you and try it all on at home and, you know, just have a little try on party by yourself. I love that. I love that. Especially with what you do, I feel like you probably do that a lot. You get I do that a lot of so clothes, try a lot at home. I'm always having my own fashion shows in front of the mirror. I love that. <laughs> and you guys, okay, if you're just tuning in, again, my guest host, Pia Shaw, at Pia Shaw underscore on instagram she truly is such a trendsetter has her pulse on everything that's trending super hot so you're going to want to give her a follow and check out what she's doing on instagram i mean you inspire me with all of your tips and everything like that so i know you guys are definitely going to also so yeah we're, we love this and okay if you wanted to pair this with a shoe what kind of shoe would you think we've got a lot of gold here we've got black that rhinestone just your take. I don't know. I I feel like this dress because it's so simple. I kind of want to go back to the rhinestones again. Let's pick out so a rhinestone. Maybe one covered. that we haven't shown is this really fun one. I love that. Look at that together. So so cute. And also, you guys, if you wanted to do a rhinestone clutch moment. This is our winner is envelope yet. Clutch. If you guys saw the Met Gala last night, Kendall Jenner was wearing this like full on rhinestone outfit. I saw. So this is kind of like a little bit of a play, just playing with all the rhinestones without obviously wearing like a full Met Gala look. Right. Right. Um, so just incorporating all of those like rhinestone pieces, I think, is a great. Um, Way to accessorize your outfits. Exactly. You don't have to go full Met Gala yet. at your homecoming. It's okay. Yeah. You don't have to do a <laughs> crazy a full thing. Kendall Jenner outfit, <laughs> but we can add elements of her outfit. Definitely, it. definitely. And now I'm just curious. Did you see anything this fashion week that really called out your name in terms of like trends? Like, were there were there rhinestones? Was there anything? I you saw rhinestones. Yes. I saw some feathered looks. Okay. And the feather ones are fun. Um, I know you guys just posted this white dress with the feather um, trim on the top. Yes, yes. And I think I think that drops today, if I'm not mistaken, because I heard, because I was like, I need that dress. Well, you guys are so the, the feather look, I just really like that. Well, that's another thing that we will cover, cover soon. Yeah. But <laughs> we're in full on homecoming mode. So let's talk about the next look that you styled. I just love the silhouette because it's long, but then it has this like high slit on the leg. So you're really, it comes up to like about here. So you're showing full leg and I just love the way that looks and hugs the body. Totally. Um, this dress actually comes in a mauve color, yes. which I think would be beautiful on, especially for homecoming. You don't want to wear black. Definitely. Yeah. The black actually right now is sold out, but we have a mauve. So if you guys were loving this dress, all you do is click on our link above and you'll find it on our site. I actually wore it last week in a show. So really flattering, yeah. very comfortable, super amazing. And if you guys are interested in little black dresses, we're doing a segment next week. <laughs> yes, next Thursday at 4 p.m. PST, we're talking about LBD's little black dresses. So this is just a little tease for next week, which we're really excited yeah. about. <laughs> and that'll be a really fun episode because I feel like that's where my style really aligns. Yes. So I'm always in LBD. Me too. I love that. Yeah, I love that. And Tina, 
want to just say hi, what's going on, girl? <laughs> Thanks for joining. All right, so let's talk about accessorizing this LVD. And again, we're teasing our show for next week just a little bit, but in our own little homecoming way yeah. today. So tell me about accessorizing a, a little black dress, especially with a bag like this. So this is the clutch that I specifically chose because it's very luxury designer inspired. Mm -hmm. And this is just, this is the statement piece. This is it. You know, when you're wearing a simple LVD, you want something to pop and just look at it's a time. money clutch. Like wow. I feel like it's a good a good luck charm kind of. You know? It's a good way to manifest. Exactly. <laughs> and it has it right on there. Ten thousand dollars. You know how some people put a ten thousand dollar check like and tape it on their wall. Yes. You just walk around with this and you're just gonna manage. You just feel like a million bucks. Exactly. So I'm telling you, I have this bag at home and I wore it a couple times already. And how many compliments do you get? Literally everyone talks. What is that bag? Where did you get it from? Yeah. Windsor. <laughs> so that's going to be you all night. No, this is an incredible bag, but like I said, this is a big statement mm -hmm. bag. So with this dress, you know, you have your statement bag. I kind of wanted to keep it more simple with the heels. So I kind of wanted to do a lace because so yes. much of your leg is showing. This is a just a simple lace up heel. Yeah, super cute. So sleek lace up heel. Yes. And when you're showing so much of your leg, you know, this just adds a little pop. I love that. And so the great thing about lace up is that you can either wrap it around the ankle or you can yeah. do it up the calf. Super cute yes. and flirty either way. And then we also, you paired it with the little mini rhinestone hoops. We wanted to show them up yes. close. So many good rhinestone hoops today or just rhinestone it. pieces in general. Mm -hmm. But these are just some simple hoops with a little rhinestone detail on it. And these are accessories too, if you are loving Pia's dress, they work with her dress too. Yeah, they absolutely do. Let's just hold up this one last time to your dress because it is just so, so good. Let's model this. <laughs> I love that. I love this. Such a moment. And it comes with a strap, yeah? It does. Okay, yeah. so there you go. If you don't want to carry it as a clutch all night, you have a little shoulder strap to play with. Definitely, I love this. All right, so. Now, you guys, since we're in our accessories mode, let's just talk about a couple other things that we're loving. Yeah. So, definitely can't go wrong with a faux fur shawl. Yes. I love that. I feel like that would look so good with your outfit, too. Just like the moon. Yeah. Can I drape it over? Please try it on. All right. Let's see here. And we're going to try it on with yours, too, because I yes. really feel like, I think it's calling yours. For sure. Yes, I think about this is really cute. This is definitely holiday. That's so very cute. holiday. Yes. And then this is very like For real? glamour. Yeah, that was Country Music Awards. <laughs> oh, again, <laughs> country, country Music Awards. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm channeling. Okay, look at Pia. Okay, this is. Yes. This, this is, is all you have to say is yes. This is the look. <laughs> okay. I mean, speechless. I mean, yeah, when you're going to homecoming, you don't want to wear a jacket, but this is a great way to accessorize and still keep yourself warm. Yep. I wish you guys could feel how soft it is. And it is lined with, like, this satin, so it's not itchy at all. Really cute. It's got a hook and eye closure at the center, so it's just, like, a little hook, so easy to close. And then if you wanted to just kind of drape it over, you can definitely do that, too. But it looks so luxurious. I feel so in luxurious this. in this. Wow, I'm obsessed. And then we were talking about pairing it with this a little bit earlier. Yes. So here's here's how it would look with something like this. Just ties it all together, which is really yeah. cute. I love that. For yeah. clarity, Country Music Awards is a compliment. Yes. Yes. No, <laughs> huge compliment. No, we, we love it. We love it. Star. Definitely. <laughs> we're channeling Country Music Awards. We're channeling the Met Gala. We're channeling Home We're Comics. channeling all of it. High School Reunion. It's a big <laughs> thing here. Things <laughs> are live. All right. So we've got this. And then also take a look at these. So show them these. These are just so beautiful. This is another statement piece here. These just speak for themselves. Yes. Yeah. Just look at them, enjoy them, <laughs> buy them. So cute. And I love that they've got that iridescent detailing, you know, with the sparkling rhinestones. They're not just the silver rhinestone. They're really pretty yeah. different. Yeah, they have so many different elements to the shoe, and I really love this. And the good thing about a platform shoe is it doesn't feel as high as yes. it looks. 
so it's actually supposed to be more comfortable when you're wearing platform heels like this. Totally agree, and perfect for dancing the night away. Yeah. So yeah, you guys, this is just so cute. And again, would look absolutely stunning with yes. a dress. And this is just such a great piece to wear with any simple dress. Yep. And it would just change the whole vibe of the outfit, I feel. Should we maybe talk about these in our LBD show next week? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know, guys. Let us know in the comments if you want if you want to see more of this. These are actually selling out really, really fast. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Now that everyone's starting to go out again, this is a great going out heel. Mm -hmm. Really flirty. And this is also something where you can even wear these like on date night. You don't have to just wait for yeah. a formal occasion. I absolutely agree with that. Right? Especially with your dress. You yeah. Wear them out on a normal night. Just buy them and figure out when you want to wear them later on. Exactly. Those are just minor details. Totally. <laughs> and I mean, they're only they're only thirty eight ninety for these. That's amazing. You guys, I mean, a steal. Yes. We're into it. All right. So let's get into the last look. But Pia, I want to ask you before we move on, what are you what are you gravitating towards so far? Because this is your dream homecoming today. I'm gravitating, honestly, towards the long dress. I just yeah. feel like, because you don't get to wear long gown-like dresses everywhere, so I feel like that really just stood out to me because that says homecoming, prom, whatever it is. Those are the vibes it gives me, mm -hmm. and those are the vibes that I want. <laughs> well, speaking of those kind of vibes, I have a dress, the last dress, that really resonated with me and I feel like we have similar styles so it resonates with me I feel like it's yeah. gonna resonate with you this is a perfect combination of a short and I a was long. just about to say you get the best of both worlds with yes. this dress so so cute now tell me about this dress where you would wear it I mean what it feels like to you okay so this dress gives me it just screams holiday yeah. to me it's this beautiful hunter green, and then it has this draped train on it, which is amazing and really elevates the dress, I think. And then it's just this really amazing velvet material. I wish you guys could feel it. It's so soft. And I love this dress. You're just going to be walking in and having this train. Yeah. Walking the, you just know, like draped really kind down of, your yes. Well, and then if you have like a sparkle, a sparkle heel, yes, it like really just pops. I think those look so good with this dress. Yes, I love that. And you know, you don't have to wait until your wedding day to have a train. Oh my god, good point. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my gosh, so pretty. And okay, so Super you guys are fitting again. Yes, Pia is like I said, the guru of style. She knows how to pose, make everything look. So, so good. Tell me how you would pose in this dress on your homecoming. Okay, well, if this drape was on my leg, you want to do like a little like, you know, like kind of dra yes. drape it over and show all of that leg action and then have some rhinestone shoes and show that off. Love it. So I think this moment is all about the legs. I love that too. Yeah. And, and of course, you've got that, you've got, you're going to have one arm free over here. Mm -hmm. So great to do. It's a hand on the hip pose. Yes. I think it's all of our go-to, especially in informal pictures, yes. but I mean, you're just going to look like a million bucks in this dress. And now, tell me about what you think about pairing it with these lace-up stiletto heels. I love how simple the heel is, but then it still has like a fun play with the um, lace-up. The strap. And yeah, you can like even do like a bow in the back, if that's what you wanted to do. Yes. So I just love this. Super comfortable too. How do those straps or the the lace ups feel? Because they're they're like a soft material. It's super soft. The only thing I could compare it to is like bathing suit material. Yes. So obviously that's very soft, very comfortable, and I think these are super wearable. I love them. And those are another shoe that you can wear after homecoming. Yes, absolutely. You can wear this in so many different ways. So many different outfits I can think of to style this with. Even like going to dinner. Right? Yeah, like a pair of leather pants and a bodysuit. Yeah. These shoes would look amazing. So so cute. Love that. Yeah. One more time. I feel like I'm very in holiday mode right here. So very we'll, we'll, holiday. We'll pair it next to Pia yes. <laughs> because we're in homecoming there. mode right now. So so pretty. I feel like it's a very red carpet moment. Yes. Yes. 
perfect for taking pictures. And if you guys are taking pictures with a dress like this, I actually learned this trick where if you point your feet, like if you're pointing your feet out, okay. point it towards the camera, okay. and then it elongates your legs. Really? Okay, wait, yes. so show me. Am I doing it? Exactly. Right? So like oh. if the camera were like there, you're just pointing it your foot towards the camera. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> See, this is why we have you on here. You're telling us all the tips. I'm, I'm obsessed with this. This is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites too, okay. I think. This it's is an amazing look. So unexpected, and I think all of these dresses here today that we've covered are really unexpected looks that are going to be showstoppers. Yes, they're, they're all start. very unique, and I think there's something for everyone. Definitely, which I think is the best part. Definitely, and I think we did a poll, and between longer dresses and mini dresses, yes, there was this long midi or midi and mini one. Mini one, hundred percent. Wow. Okay. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen because I think homecoming is where you wear short dresses and prom is where you wear long dresses. Yes, yeah. I think that was like what I understood from dances. <laughs> well, again, if you guys are liking an in-between, either a midi or you just can't decide whether you want to do a mini dress or a long dress, this is a really perfect option for you. Yeah. I love, I love, love, love this. So how was your uh, dream homecoming today? I love this. I feel like I got to pick all the outfits that I could ever have dreamed yes. of. I got all the accessories. I got an amazing closet. So I have no complaints. This is an amazing homecoming. Thank you guys for making my dream come true. Ooh, <laughs> yes, it's milestone. <laughs> we had so much fun here today. We always love having yeah. you on. Yeah, and we're excited to have you back next week, next Thursday with me. We're going to talk about LBDs. dresses. She's the expert. So she's going to lend all of her expertise 4 p.m. next Thursday. So you guys, thank you so much for joining today. You guys know that you can also find our full collection online at windsorstore.com. All you have to do is just click on the link above in this post, mm -hmm. and you can also visit any of our more than 250 stores throughout the U.S. Thank you so much for having me, Brielle. It was thank amazing to come host with you again. It was and so much fun. I can't wait to see all of you next Thursday. We'll see you next Thursday. Don't forget, you guys, follow Pia at Pia Shaw underscore yeah. on Instagram. We will see you next week when we're back together talking about LBDs 4 p.m. next Thursday. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.